Hey, in this video I'm going to show you how to take advantage of a model bones to create this mouse movement animation. The idea is simple, we are going to create an invisible object that follows the cursor and will make sure the bone of the head is always oriented towards that object. Now the first part can be a bit challenging and I'm talking about determining the position of the mouse on the screen more precisely. Well, fortunately, I have encountered this problem before and I have actually made a tutorial about it, so make sure you check it out. The only difference here is that I'll use the ray caster to reposition the target object. So the first thing I'm going to do is create an object 3D which is the target and of course create the ray caster and other necessary components that again I've already explained in the spheres tutorial. In the last line you can see that the target's x and y coordinates are copied from the intersection point while the z coordinate representing the object's distance from the model is arbitrary. Next I'll create a global variable to which I'll assign the head bone and the orientation will be handled within the animate function. So, the movement of the head is following the cursor, however, the initial position when the mouse is out of the canvas is a bit strange. To fix this, I'll just set an initial position for the target object. And now that we've finished it with the main objective of the video, let's add some additional details, like creating some slight breathing animation. To do that, I'm just going to target the spine 55 bone with some white translations. The animation works fine, but it might not be very visible because that's how things work in reality. Moving on, I'll rotate the arms, forearms and fingers using code. While this may not be the best way, it's suitable for manual bones movement if needed. So again, I'm going to assign the bones to a set of variables and then apply some rotations to them and I won't go through all the code since I've already done the work, so I'll just copy and paste it. And with this we come to the end of this tutorial, so make sure to like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.